Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. Okay, so what we have here is a power switchboard pump. So I've had to open it up for the main reason that we're putting a lock on it today. It comes with these little tiny sort of catches that you can just use a screwdriver or a pair of flat blades to get open. And the problem is that it's been tampered with. And when it gets tampered with or turned off or the alarm's going off and people just turn it off to shut it up, what happens is the actual basement will fill up with water. And that's pretty much what did happen. You've got a liquid level alarm over there. And I can see a green for power, and I think I can see a red for um, it being full. So what happens is, in a basement similar to this one, if um, there's a lot of rain outside and things, water always goes down, so it collects somewhere. And it'll collect in a big pit below, and then there's a pump that will actually pump it up and out. So it's got a large retention tank somewhere, and there's sensors on that, so when it fills up, it pumps it out. Only problem is when people touch and tamper with this stuff, it doesn't work as it's designed and you end up with floods and all sorts. So I can see just by the rust down there that I think this, is, this area has been uh, flooded once or twice. So today, my job, put a lock on it. Now, that'd be cool if this fence wasn't here, but the fence is here. So before I can start being high electrical, uh, we need to see what's inside. So we've got 240 volts and 12 amps, so there's enough juice. Uh, danger high voltage, take two screws out. Because we're drilling, I'm drilling into this, I have no choice but to actually have a look. I'm not touching anything, but I'm just seeing where I'm drilling into, where um, I can attach to, and then negotiating through this, uh, through this fence. Now I've drilled one hole, and as you can see, I've kind of scored it a little bit there on the metal, but that'll be okay. And for my uh, rivets, they're gonna be behind this line, so I've got a good 20 mil there, that's not a problem. And I'm going to use, going to use my new toy. So the way I'm gonna flap this, I'm just using a Lockwood Haspen staple. The way I'm gonna flap this is I'm gonna flap it um, around like that and around the front. Like, like this. Okay, uh, so that's where we want it to be. That's where we want it to be, which means I have to attach this about here. I can't even see where, uh, where my holes or anything are. Okay, if we can just sit that there like that, I bring out my new toy. It's ready for action. Okay, <laughs> tricky, very tricky, don't fall on me. All right, one down. Because it is a flap and a concealed flap, and this is not super, super high security, this is just to lock it to keep uh, the locals out. I'm gonna get another hole there. We'll get him ready. And the big, huge length on that is good. Good for, good for our purposes. All right, so see if we can, how square we can get it. I hope I can turn that flap around once I've got my hole in. Of course, it's going to move around, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be fun. Got a bit of a hole going now. I'm sure we do. Let's just flap this, this out of the way then. Okay, there's our hole. I'm going to have to drill this on an angle. Looks good. Okay, Min manipulate this hasp through the through the gate and see if we can actually. Okay, so if I pop rivet that on, I can I can flap it forward. Okay. Alright, Mr. Pot Rivet, we'll go in on an angle like this. Uh, that's not a... that's better. Well, it's not fabulous, but it'll work. I might have. I might even put an extra um, self-tapper in that, just to make it a little bit stronger because put a hasp on that side. 
we're going to need a, some sort of marking device. Let's go with a texter. You want it to have a little bit of room so you can get the hasp on and off without too much problem. Hopeless mark. <clears throat> what we need here is a sharpie. Another texture. It's giving really poor marks. Good enough. Now we have to put a padlock on it. So I'll go for this little Avis red one. Okay, and that's it. That'll just stop, uh, prevent people from being able to tamper with it and turn it off so they can't uh, bypass the alarm, meaning that the pumps will still work. And if there's any uh, water issues, the pumps are ready to go and they're in action because failing to be able to get rid of the water leads to massive problems, flooding, loss of cars. I mean, I'm not sure how flooded this could be, uh, but I've seen in some that they, they can flood up, especially now with this uh, weather that we're having. I forget what they call it, but there's a lot, a lot of water sometimes, so you can even see rust up here. I wouldn't be surprised if water's come all the way up here, judging by that. Okay, so installing a husband staple on a water pump cabinet. That's all I've got today. Thanks for watching.